I had a life-changing event where I was in the hospital and I could have died. And while I was with nothing but a hospital gown and hospital socks, no material things whatsoever, and it was just me and my thoughts, and I said, this can't be it. If my life ended today, I just felt like you are still eager for more. There has to be more. Well, even if that had been your croaking moment, <laughs> there still would be more. But what you were acknowledging from that contrasting experience is, I want more of this. I'm not done with this. I want more sifting and sorting and deciding and vortexing and aligning and receiving and manifesting. In other words, I've come to do stuff. So what you were in that sort of state of giving in or giving up, there was a releasing of resistance where you felt clarity from your inner being that there is more for you. You're translating it a little differently than your inner being was presenting it to you, which is easy to understand under the circumstances, but you're not done with this. <laughs> so here lays the problem. I have a job that I've been on for 19 years, but it's that feeling in my soul that I know that I'm supposed to be doing more. And I ask myself, why are you settling? But I don't know what to do. And I don't know if it's fear. Here's the thing that we want you to understand. And you'll hear this easily because you heard all of the other things that we've been talking about. Right. So you're ready to hear this. So. While you've been doing that, you haven't been settling. You've been defining and clarifying and asking. And you've filled your vortex full of improvements. The settling, the reason you're using that word, is because you've been thinking rather than receiving. Through all the contrast and all the step wanting that you've been living and all the good and the not so good with that job, you've put so much there that's all moving it's in motion the cooperative components have been gathered and you're going to feel this in a strong way so brace yourself just a little bit in the same way that you felt so powerfully there's got to be more when you were lying there in that hospital bed there's got to be more that's the way you feel about this too there's got to be more and there is more but right now because you can't see it or hear it or smell it or taste it or touch it because it's got to come along here until you can. So you've got to be willing to start with the subtle clues. See, this is what happens with so many people who are beginning to get the idea of all of this and beginning to receive is that in the beginning, when you're first right up against this receiving mode and those first thoughts are coming, they are subtle. Esther says to Jerry all the time because he made his transition and now he's talking to her from non-physical and it was sure a lot easier to hear him when he was in the room with her because she could be in any mood she chose and she could still hear him. But now she's got to be tuned in, tapped in, turned on because he's on a different frequency. And as he speaks to her sometimes in the early phases of a conversation about some new subject, sometimes it's so subtle she has to really, really tune to it, you see. And sometimes when you have to really tune to something, if you're not really in the mood or if you're not practiced at it, you don't do it. And that's what settling is. Settling is reaching for the manifestation because it's easier. It's easier to respond to what you're seeing and hearing than it is to what you're receiving. And sometimes you don't trust yourself quite in the beginning of it because it is subtle. But as you listen, this meditation will take you there easily. And as you listen, you will hear. And as you respond to what you're hearing, you will witness and then you will know, you see. So settling is just trying to work it out the hard physical action word way while what you're really wanting to do is tune into your inner being who knows, who will guide you 
because you said, I don't know what to do or where to go or what I should be doing or how to make it work better or who I should be doing it with or where I should look. In other words, you're full of all of those questions, but your vortex is full of all of those answers. Well, you can't ask questions and receive answers at the same time. So you got to stop asking the question. You've asked it enough and the answers are there. Now it's time to just sort of chill out, have a good time. Don't worry so much about what you're doing or not doing. You're not on the brink of croaking. That's one of the things that you took away from that, that your inner being is not at all offering to you. It kind of gave you a feeling of a shortness of time and there isn't that. Or it gave you a feeling that you ought to be doing something more important and there isn't any of that. It's just your vortex is calling you. And when you don't go, you don't feel so good. That's all. We agree with you. That time that you've spent there, has been time enough to create all kinds of wonderful things. But we don't agree with you that you've settled because if you had settled, you'd be happy in that job still. In other words, you're not settled, you're unsettled. You're not settled, you're unsettled. Unsettled is a good thing. It means you're still asking. So tune into that and watch what happened. We've been saying to audiences for a while, since we've been emphasizing meditation, pleading with you, <laughs> really encouraging meditation and talking a lot about the receptive mode and getting ready to be ready to be ready to be ready. We've been saying to you that so far this is just words maybe. And until you actually sit and meditate and sit and meditate and sit and meditate Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and know that you got detached and know that you actually accomplished that feeling of detachment, what we would do if we were standing in your physical shoes or sitting in your physical chairs, we would focus upon something in the room. Esther has a little clock that ticks. She likes the sound of that. Or you can listen to a dripping faucet or anything. The air conditioner is usually making a nice consistent sound, but just find some sound. Let's listen in this room. Is there a sound? So focus on that sound. So as you focus on that sound and your mind will want to wander, but don't let it just make that sound important. Just focus on that sound. And as you do that for a minute or two or three or four or five or 10, what will happen is your mind will just settle down because that thought is not a very big thought. And you can't think about the bills you have to pay and listen to that at the same time. Can't think about anything you're worried about at the same time. Focus on that. And it will take you to this place of quiet, inactivity really. And for every minute that you spend in that deactivating those thoughts because you're focused upon something else, your vibration will rise until even maybe on the first attempt, you'll tune in to the vibration of your source. Now, when you do that, often what happens is your inner being will offer some really soft intention to you, which may result in what feels to you like involuntary movement. You may find yourself just feeling like you want to sort of flow with it. It might be in your thumb or your hands or your shoulder. Often, if you are relaxed with your head, you'll just feel yourself just sort of moving for no reason and don't think about it. Just enjoy the movement. Esther felt like she was flying when she first experienced that. And then when your timer goes off, set a timer for 20 minutes so that you don't get carried away with this. But usually once you have connected in that way, and it might take you a week to do it, 15 minutes a day, not a week of meditation, 15 minutes a day for a week. It might take you a few days to do it, but a thought will occur to you and it will be a good feeling thought. Sometimes Esther will receive a thought like, I think I'll move some furniture around. Then she laughs. Oh, I thought I would be thinking more about world peace or something important. <laughs> A thought will come, a good feeling thought will come. And as you notice these good feeling thoughts coming, when you consciously connect that you received the thought, then you're off and running. And then don't try to think thoughts. Listen 
Get in the listening mode, but you're not listening with your ears. You're listening in the receptive mode. You're listening for thoughts or impulses that the more you do that, what you'll begin to notice is that you don't need to be coming out of meditation to do that. You're doing it all the time. Anyway, when you change lanes in traffic or when you get an impulse to stop and do something or impulse to call someone, in other words, you've been in the receiving mode much more than, you know, we're just encouraging you to do it on purpose because when you do it on purpose and then you make the correlation between your quieted mind and the receptive mode and the thoughts that are flowing then you understand and then these things that you heard us say today will be meaningful to you so far they're just words but when you allow them to happen to you and you receive the personal clarity and benefit and good feeling of them then there will be no limits for you and for a while so many things will start unfolding for you because you've got a vortex full of things that have been wanting to get out a vortex full of things that are ripe and ready for you to be ready for them ready for you to be ready ready for you to be ready ready for you to be ready so this is what this gathering is all about you getting ready ready for what ready to receive you getting ready ready for what you to receive receive what receive what you've been asking for you to get ready ready for what ready to receive ready to receive what what's in your vortex how'd it get there you getting ready ready to receive ready to receive what what's in your vortex that you put there through life it's just this wonderful cycle of becoming and of course you're still wanting more of that. It takes a long time to be born again into a squatty little body with no balance and no teeth and no freedom. It's much better to continue from where you are, you see. Good? Thank you. Yeah.